Welcome to the Knackle News Network. The Knackle News Network is brought to you by the Knackle Group, Cushman and Wakefield's number one investment sales team. Hi, I'm John Hagman, Executive Managing Director for Cushman and Wakefield. Welcome to the Knackle News Network. Today I'm here with Bob Knackle, Chairman of New York Investment Sales. And today we're gonna to talk about the 2018 outlook for the market. So Bob, last week we ran through the numbers uh, for 2017. This week we'd like to talk about our outlook for 2018, some of the factors that are going into that, especially tax reform. Uh, but first let's do a quick recap of what we talked about last week. Sure, well in 2017, the market was challenged. Uh, we are 28 months into a correcting market. Uh, the volume metrics were both negative. The, uh, number of properties sold was down 35% in 2017 from the peak year of 2014. And the dollar volume of sales was down 57% from the peak in 2015. Uh, and value started to turn negative. So based on all that, Bob, what is your outlook for 2018? Well, it, it, I have to caveat my answer by saying I would, it would have had one outlook without tax reform and another outlook with tax reform. Um, because I think tax reform is going to have a very profound impact on the commercial real estate market. Um, and I think if we, if we look at where we're headed and we look at cycles, I think the, the most important thing to understand is there are three things that are going to impact our perspective on the market and how the market will play out. Those three things uh, include history, what has happened in the past, how these corrections played out. Number two, what I always say, what happens in New York City will happen in Manhattan first. So we're gonna look at Manhattan and what's happened in Manhattan and how that is going to eventually uh, seep into the outer boroughs markets. Um, and then lastly, tax policy. Um, it is absolutely the case tax policy impacts the behavior of market participants, uh, particularly in commercial real estate. And so we have to look at all three of those things and and try to figure out where the market's going to be going from here. Let's start with let's let's look at each one of those three. Let's start with history number one. Okay, so we've been tracking the market very very closely back to 1984 when I, I started brokering here in, in New York, um, and the first recession that we came upon was the SNL crisis, which was in the early 90s. During that crisis, we had volume drop for five years in a row. Um, right, so today, as we sit here, we've had three years of falling number of properties sold from the peak and two years where the dollar volume has fallen. So if we look at the SNL crisis um, reductions in volume, we see a five-year period where that occurred. Uh, if we go to the early 2000s, the dot-com bubble bursting, four years where value dropped. And after the Great Recession that we just went through, we also had a four-year period where volume dropped. So in an ordinary course of business, I would say, well, this correction needs to have a four or five-year drop in volume, and we're only two or three years into that. So the natural conclusion that one would make is we're going to have another year or two or three of, of falling volume of sales. Um, but I don't think that's going to be the case. Why is that not going to be the case? Well, a couple, two, two main reasons, Sex. Um, one is that the last three corrections, major corrections that we've had in the market, were precipitated by an externality that had a very, very significant impact on the market. We had a stock market crash in 1987 that led to the SNL crisis. Mm -hmm. We had the dot-com bubble bursting in the early 2000s that, that led to that recession. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, of course, the housing market imploding in the United States led to the Great Recession. Um, each of those things had a very profound impact on the commercial real estate market. Uh, but coming into this correction, we haven't had any of those major impacts. No, no, what I refer to as a catalytic event that made the correction happen. This was simply um, a natural cyclicality aspect of the market. Bob, last week in the episode, uh, you mentioned that tax reform could have a significant impact on the market in 2018. What are your thoughts about that? Right. Well, Hags, I think understanding how tax reform is going to impact the market has a lot to do with how we're going to proceed. As I said, if you look at history, 
History would tell us that we should have another year or two or maybe three of downward movement in volume. Values just started to turn in the second half of 17. Those should continue to go down, although because we didn't have that catalytic event, the reductions in value shouldn't be significant. I'm talking maybe you know single digits or maybe mid double, you know, 15, 16 percent at the worst case. And that reduction in value would be relatively mild compared to prior corrections. But I think that tax reform could serve as a buoy for this market and reverse the downward trend in volume and maybe uh, minimize the downward impact that eroding fundamentals will have on the drop in values. What do you mean by that specifically? Can you go into that a little bit further? Sure. Well, I think if we look at how the market has reacted, let's just look at the number of buildings sold in the fourth quarter, for instance. Uh, in the fourth quarter of last year, the number of buildings sold citywide was the lowest quarterly total we had going back to the first quarter of 2013. If we look at the Manhattan market, the total number of buildings sold in Manhattan in the fourth quarter was the lowest quarterly total we had going back to the first quarter of 2011. But the fourth quarter was actually good because our contract signing activity was up very, very significantly, and I think that was market-wide. But unfortunately, a lot of those signed contracts were not going to close in 2017. Those transactions are going to close in the first and second quarter of 2018. Mm -hmm. So we already started to see some optimism, some positive movement in the marketplace. Uh, based on the anticipation that tax reform was going to get uh, approved. And indeed, tax reform uh, did get approved, and I think there's some very, very positive things for commercial real estate that are going to help us come through this correction. Um, and in hindsight, it probably will be considered a relatively mild correction, but a correction nonetheless. In summary, the three things we need to take into consideration when considering market movements in 2018 and 2019 our history, the fact that what happens in New York City happened in Manhattan first, and the fact that tax policy impacts the behavior of market participants more than anything else. Tax reform will have a profound impact on how the market proceeds into the future, and we will get into the details of how that will happen in next week's episode. Thank you for joining us today. Tune in next week for another episode of the Knackle News Network.